time to stop now at my uh, favourite services as well. Time for the wee. services back busy again after being uh, well this place was dead just a matter of a few weeks ago um, it's T-Bay services by the way and uh, it is a real uh, they've some unreal food the trouble is it costs a bleeding fortune stop at a uh, that's just cost 20 quid for a quick stop off on the way cost of convenience eh right so this is what we've got to start pulled beef uh, ciabatta a fiver and then we follow that with a pork and black pudding scotch egg. I don't know how much that one was. Two pounds. Oh, somebody does. <laughs> what are you eating? Oh, it's Can like I? a veggie box, gorgeous. That's the healthy option. <laughs> That's what I should have gone for. You should. should be looking at Unfortunately, I've family. got a scotch egg. Honestly, the food is gorgeous. It's so nice. They've also got a butcher's, which is unreal. Food in that, honestly, is so good. Look at that for a Scotch egg. Does it get any better than that? That's so good. Anyway, I'm thinking of changing the channel to reviewing um, service stations up and down the UK, so comments down below. What are your thoughts? Sea base clearly number one at the moment. Oh. It's probably that. That looks nice now. Can I have the other half? No. Stick to your salad. where it is that I'm going and uh, well, we've actually arrived and can anyone recognise that first tee? It's extremely narrow, I think it's called Railway and uh, there's no clues there as to where the name came from and uh, we're at, or I'm back at, Presswick and uh, I've got to say, I came here last year and I said I'm already planning a trip back and uh, well we're back and in the next few days I'm going to play it, I'm going to film it, I'm going to tell you an amazing story uh, but we'll keep this kind of thing rolling behind the scenes and see how we get from uh, arrival today, which is a Sunday afternoon, to our uh, finished bit of filming on, um, well, that'll be late Tuesday. Yeah, so it's uh, Presswick Golf Club for the next few days and um, we're just walking the course the evening before I play it. That's all like, uh, don't, I'm not taking yardages, I'm just uh, taking photos. Um, but oh my God, this place is, it's so good, you know. I say so good, I mean, I've not played it, so I can't make a comment like that, but just the whole look and feel of the place is, uh, it's got something special about it. These places where, um, I've done a few now, where, you know, cha championship venues, but again, this place, the birthplace of the Open, and they've just got this uh, magical aura about them that uh, is tough to explain. And um, what I'm gonna be doing over the next few days is we've been, so what we've not seen on, or what you've not seen in terms of YouTube, is how things have changed for me is that I've gone from, Every video that I post is obviously a YouTube video, um, but we've then done a lot of work on behalf of clubs. Um, and in this case, we're doing something on behalf of uh, Presswick, which is telling the story of um, old Tom Morris and uh, the origins of the birthplace of the Open. And it's to coincide with this sort of uh, his 200th year anniversary. Uh, so it's a great piece of work that I'm really flattered and honoured to be doing. And uh, like I said, during the three days, I just thought I'd do some kind of little clips behind the scenes and uh, keep you all posted as part of what was going to be a travel series, those Sunday night uploads. They will come, um, but we've just been non-stop since Scotland opened the borders. Uh, I think we arrived the day after and uh, they've struggled to get rid of us. So I hope to keep coming back. Anyway, I'll uh, take a few images around this place now and uh, let you have a little bit of a look around.
Right, we're going to walk through, uh, this is the third, this hole is, uh, it's well known, it's called Cardinal. And uh, I think it's the, I think it's a par five and the second or perhaps third shot in is blind over that, uh, that mound, that wall of, uh, of sleepers and a pretty big bunker that lies in front of it. Seriously, it's, it's such a nice night to be doing this and uh, the golf course itself looks uh, absolutely incredible. Right, this is the lead up to what is the uh, the third green. I don't know whether you can pick up those uh, changes in elevation on these uh, fairways. Unreal. I mean, where your ball lands and where it finishes are going to be two totally different positions. Incredible. Oh, to walk right down a dip now and uh, the flag will sort of almost be halved in terms of view. This is my 50 year old child in his element. Said we were having the day off and already we're out here filming. Can't it's resist. It's a Sunday, it's a day of rest. <laughs> right, let's see Alps for the very first time. This is some hole, some reputation. I've heard a lot about it and uh, oh my word. What a bunker that is. The bunker's huge, but what you've, I've just walked the hole. You come from down there, tee up on the horizon. I think you'll have a fairly lengthy iron still in hand. You come over this rise blind and you don't want to be short. Just walking this course, this place is unreal. I can't wait for tomorrow. Finished walking the course and uh, all ready to go for tomorrow. No excuses now, I know where I'm going. Uh, do you know what, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because some of them holes are, oh, seriously, um, I reckon would ask a good few questions of your game. I'm not sure whether uh, I've got enough answers, I'm afraid, but we'll find out tomorrow. But honestly, just walk in the place, it's incredible. So uh, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. So I'll, uh, I'll see you all in the morning. Right, so we've been staying in the, in the golf view and uh, I'll explain to you why. I'll show you why rather. It's called the golf view. So that is, there's a trusty old van down there. And that's what we're looking out to. And not a bad morning, but a great forecast. There's the clubhouse. Great forecast for later on when we're playing. And uh, green staff at work. Not many of the people about us yet. Right, so a great breakfast in, uh, in our golf view in and uh, over to the first tee. And we've just filmed uh, an 18 old pair scramble medal uh, around this course and I've got to say oh my word it's so good you know what a place there's so much character in this place let alone forget the history just the, the sheer character in some of these holes and the names of them unreal um, I just love it here and what I'll do like I said I'm, uh, I'm just trying to move around and pan a bit in terms of that backdrop it's been a pretty gorgeous day uh, didn't play that great to be honest it played okay but we had plenty of fun filming it and they've got a nice video to come that i'll show you in the weeks ahead um but for the golf wise uh, there's a little bit of a clip as to uh, what this place looks like and what we got up to today and i'm um, now going to the um the red lion which was the pub in presswick where old tom morris and a few others got them together and uh, it's where the open originated they made a plan formulated a plan and then in 1860, they kicked things off, uh, well, about 100 yards to my right on what was a par six. And that's where it all started. Right, so I've got David Fleming, uh, professional at Presswick Golf Course. Uh, it's a big game this week. Yeah, this is big. Bre breaking part, yeah, yeah. it's our third episode of the right. series, mm -hmm. but this is a big one. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sorry to say, mate, the pressure's on you. Right, okay. <laughs> so, so basically, just to explain, very, very simple. We're playing a pair scramble medal, uh, zero shots. And uh, we have to have eight tee shots each. Right, okay. And then we've got two floating. So uh, all I'm hoping I get my eight tee shots in as soon as I can. Perfect. Um, what would be your team captain who will be, uh, who, who should go? You Me? go, absolutely. Great to have you here. And we're hoping for first tee shot, we, we sort of want 180 yards yes. ideally. And yeah. I must admit it looks, uh, it looks a little bit tight. Not much landing. Perfect. Super drive, yeah? Oh, 
Wow. Is right. that green, green side bunker? Green side bunker. Wow, big one. So right. You don't need a club then? No, no. <laughs> I don't. This it's, is your drive. I can say this is the um, it's the first time we've got to 18 where it's been on kind of one player. Yeah. I was hoping that one player would never be me. <laughs> Right, morning of day two. Uh, we'll be out on a golf course that I've. Uh, there's a great view here at Golf View. The only problem is some idiots parked the van right in front of the window, so I can't show you a damn thing. But trust me, over the other side of that van is uh, is the golf course, and we played it yesterday. Back out again today, filming our main sort of story and what we're up here for. So um, should be an interesting day into the archives with uh, the club secretary Ken Goodwin and uh, see some scorecards that date back to that first Open in 1860. Anyway, time for Brecky. I spoke to you briefly at uh, breakfast and showed you just how close we are to the golf course. I'm walking down 14, and that's golf view back in the distance over there, literally across the road. It couldn't be any better of a place, you know, to stop if you're playing at Presswick. Right, another early start and uh, wow, what a week we've had, or what three days anyway. The weather here has been incredible. Uh, incredible for golf, incredible for filming. And we've had a great time. I've uh, learned a heck of a lot about uh, the birthplace of the Open. Um, some of the stories I knew, some of the stuff I've learned. Um, yeah, just blows your mind. And um, hopefully the film that we've created uh, over the next few days, you'll, uh, you'll learn a bit more and enjoy what Presswick Golf Club has to offer as a golf course and its kind of historical context in terms of the Open and uh, the game itself so um yeah incredible few days i hope you've enjoyed this video um that's me for this week let me know i'm signing off and it's a case of uh, leave your comments down below um have you enjoyed this kind of behind the scenes look at what we do and there you go let me know if you want a bit more because i certainly want a bit more of that golf course uh it's one of them places i've left and i can't or i'm about to leave and i can't wait to return